we had a question here, follow-up question. This doesn't apply with EPP. Maybe define what that is too. Yeah, so I think every company calls has different names for PUAs. So I'm mainly familiar with Guardian and Mass Mutual. So they call it unscheduled and scheduled PUAs. That's Guardian. Mass Mutual has it Ailer, additional life insurance rider, or Lister, life insurance supplemental rider. Can, Matt, can you explain the EPPUA? Is that like a scheduled PUA or a... So it was my question, but... From what I understand, the APPUA, the way that it was with Penn Mutual, but they're saying like with APPUA, you said you, like their traditional it would be seven or eight years pay, then after that you stop it. Um, but with the EPPUA, you're able to keep the max fund for a longer amount of time. So let's just say you put with an APPUA, you do a max fund of 100,000. And after that seven year, eight year limit, you can't do the max fund anymore. You can only do a certain amount of that. But with EP, you can set up for a longer period, say 20, 30 years if you wanted to. And to simplify, that's to me anyway, it just seems simple if you plan on using this as a bank account for the long run anyway, for investment purposes, it would make sense just because you already have a policy open, you can just keep funding it for the rest of your investing years. Got it. Yeah, so that I would say mass mutual is something similar in the sense that their funding period is flexible where you can go locked you know 20 30 years the flexible i think it's just different they, they call it different things i would have to look specific at that and i can i have some pen pal i'll, I'll go look at the true definition ronnie and probably uh, reach out specifically with that or send it out to the group on the two different i think as tyler said like all these companies have little nuances right like i got a pen and i'm aware of this like the good thing like you say like you you can keep paying to it for a while after your initial period of six or 10 years, whatever you set it at based on your situation works best for you. But the downside that they have is that you got to keep putting to it every year. Where like a guardian, they don't have that long-term flexibility, but you can choose not to pay the writer one year and take a break. It's different. I think this is where you have to look at multiple policies and figure out, well, based on your situation. So like some people in the group are business owners, right? Business owners have a lot of variability in your income. Whereas if you're just a straight up salary guy, you may want that more. Your cash flow is very stable. Therefore, you're not going to have these big fluctuations. So you would rather do that arrangement where you don't have that flexibility, but you have that long-term flexibility in that respect. And, and you it's can actually change too, right? Okay. The APPUA, that's, so when I was choosing between, or when I was building my policy, I looked at both or I spoke to the agent about doing both an APP and an EPPUA. Both of them, you could, you have to make the payment so that the premium, so you don't lapse the contract, but they both had the same catch a provision where you have one year where if you don't make your, you can fill it up the next year too. But if you were to not do it, you would lose it. In terms of losing that rider, it had to average a certain amount over any three year rolling period. It's not really where you can have to, if you were to miss it one or not, they, it's an average over three years. But I opted with the EPPUA because my funding, I could max out my PUAs for 62 years. So I started when I was 34. I can put in 120K every year until I'm like 100. And what I was told was the ROI is 0.1%, about 0.1% less, but that it would essentially make up for it and some flexibility of making the payments and being able to do it for longer. That was my so a sacrifice of a little bit of return for more flexibility and being able to max stuff more. Yeah, and I, I think I might have talked to the agent about the same thing and he pretty much said that if it came down to it and you really wanted to stop paying the, you can say after the eight year mark or whatever, just say, this is paid up now and I'm not going to make any more additions to it. Obviously then you can't add any more, but that's where the flexibility is. Yeah. And that's where I think truly it's the, the policy design because the flexibility means different things or has different values. Someone wants the flexibility of the different amount of being able to put in different amounts throughout the year, or they want to be able to put it in for a long time. Those are the main two different flexibilities. And yeah, I think there's multiple companies and 
each company has its different benefits based on their policy limits. Just keep in mind that for that long funding period, I think as Lane mentioned, and Matt also, it's yeah, three years. I think they do a look back three years on that average. So say maybe you, you had the ability to fund it 100,000. If over that three years, the average, you only funded it to 30,000. From that point forward, you can the max you can fund it would only be up to that thirty thousand. I believe it drop that it drops down. Just be aware of that. Now again, I don't think there's one pro or con. There, there's one better than the other. It's really what your goals are and what how you wanna achieve that. Personality too, because like you guys, the the good thing about you guys had it set up is it's always constant, it's always there. I don't know. Me personally, I always like to move stuff around every so often. It's the more erratic. So that kind of just fits my style. Of yeah. And yeah, nothing, I don't want to speak bad about any other com other companies. I would say there, there is a c company where you're able to not have that three year look back and still have a pretty long funding flexibility, maybe not 60 years, that 20 or 30 year mark where that's a pretty good funding period for the purposes of this. But my question directed to what we were talking about was you, know, you were talking about being able to stuff a little bit more when you have those you know, fixed funding periods. And I think in that other scenario where you have the long funding period that the same thing doesn't apply. You're already at the max. You're hitting the max every time. Yeah, got it. I, I think some people, they just don't want to get a, another health screen because they're freaked out about not passing or something like that. Or they just don't like health screening. So I could see why some people don't. We just want to set it and forget it. Too. Or if you're going to plan on getting another policy, you would have to pay expenses all over again.